Thank you so much for joining us today for our deeper segment. God wants us to be strong in our families. In fact, maybe you're all alone in the world. (laughs) The Bible says in Psalm 68, verse 6, God sets the solitary together in families so they can be blessed. Those families are called the family of God, churches, local churches. So be part of that. And now as we're looking into God's word, if you've got your Bible, you can turn to uh, the book of Joshua in the Old Testament, the 24th chapter. And we're going to, I want to read verse 14 and 15, and we're going to focus on the end of verse number 15. Let me read it for you. It says, now, therefore, fear the Lord, serve him in security and in truth, and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the river, that's the Euphrates River, and in Egypt. Serve the Lord, verse 15. And if it seems evil to you to serve the Lord, choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether you're the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the river or the gods of the Amorites in the land where you dwell today, But look at the last sentence. But as for me and my house, that's Joshua speaking, we will serve the Lord. So the focus today, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Why don't you say it with me? As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. That's a strong declaration that God wants us to make so that we are are boldly saying, this is what God wants. I'm adding my faith, joining my faith with God. This is what I want. And I am very bold in declaring, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. That's that's your household now, but those that will follow after you in the generations that still are to come. Let me give you some background on this. Perhaps you remember Joshua was a great leader. He followed Moses. He was Moses' assistant. And then he became the captain of the army of Israel while Moses was still alive. And then he was the one that when Moses died, led all of the children of Israel into the land of promise. He's the one that led the army that defeated all the enemies. He's the one that rallied the whole generation. Think of this. The generation preceding him all died in the wilderness. And now he and his friend Caleb... They inspired the next generation to serve the living God. They inspired not just their own families, but all of those who are their contemporaries to come along. He inspired young people who are much younger than him. And now when he's speaking these words, catch this now, when he's saying these words, he's about 110 years of age just before his death. And what he's done is he's brought the whole nation together where they will boldly come together and and present themselves to God as a reconfirmation again that they were going to serve God forever and ever. And he was a leader that brought that all about. I believe you can be a leader in your household to bring about transformation in your house and in the future generations that will follow you. I believe God has you here watching this today where you can be encouraged and put it down in your heart, commit it to memory. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my family, that's what the New Living Translation says, we will serve the Lord. Now, it's very interesting, the specifics of this event that Joshua is involved in. He took them to a place called Shechem. Shechem was a city uh, that was very impactful. In fact, Abraham went there first. He built an altar. He brought the people around him that were with him. And he received the, the promise of God in that location. And then he brought the nation back, brought all his family back, confirmed it again. <laughs> wow, it was very significant. And now after they've conquered the land, They've taken the land that God has given them. They've driven out the other, the other nations that were there previously. And now they're coming back to make a firm confirmation that they are going to serve God. And the actual words that are used are significant. Let me read it again. It says down 14. Now, therefore, fear the Lord, serve him in sincerity and in truth. What does that mean? Well, when it talks about serving him in sincerity, the word actually means in perfection. 
It means you're doing it with a great deal of, of detail involved. You know what you're doing. You're not just going to do it in a mediocre fashion, but you want to serve the Lord with sincerity. You want to serve him with all that you've got in the very best way. That's what he wants for us in our households where we don't just take whatever happens, where we don't just take what others try to present us on a television, on the internet, or in society around us. We don't settle for the fact that almost 50% of, of marriages break up. We say, no, as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord, not just for me and my spouse, not just for Jill and Randy Nielsen, no, but for the generations that will follow after us as well. So in sincerity, in perfection, and then it says in truth, in truth, the, the original translation meant in, in stability, where it's rock solid, it can stand the shocks of inquiry, the, the shocks of, of society around us. You see, when we serve the Lord in ways like that, God himself enters into our relationship. In fact, the, the, the prophet put it this way, that our marriage is like a three-stranded uh, cord that includes a man and his wife and includes God himself right there in the middle. And so when you declare those words, as for me and my family, me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. You're saying, Lord, I'm agreeing with what you have already said where a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave to his own wife, and the two shall be one flesh. I'm agreeing with that. Perhaps you've had a, a fractured relationship in the past. Well, let's start where we are today and say, as for me and my household, we shall serve the Lord forever, forever, forever. We're going to keep that as our focus. We're going to put our emphasis, our faith into God working in our kids' lives, in our wife or husband's life, in our grandchildren's lives, in those that follow after that. We're going to keep our faith turned on. I have faith for God to work in your family, friend. And so as you're watching this, let faith rise in your heart. Dig down deeper. Dig down deep into your own soul. Are you willing to irrevocably declare, as for me and my household, we shall serve the Lord? As you do that, God enters into the covenant that you've made together and brings about supernatural transformation that will allow you to enjoy your relationship now by faith as well as influence others around you let faith rise in their hearts as well so remember this my friends joshua chapter 24 verse 15 very end last sentence but as for me and my household we shall serve the lord we agree with you god bless you i look forward to seeing you next week